Um, thank you very much. I am reading uh, this statement uh, on behalf of my colleagues, the senators, uh, including the petitioner number two, who is the Speaker of the Senate. Uh, this is a press release following the filing of the Senate, uh, by the Senate of a petition to challenge various unconstitutional laws. Ladies and gentlemen of the Fourth Estate and fellow Kenyans, we have the honor and privilege to address you today. This day will be remembered in the history of devolution and constitutionalism in this country as the day when the Senate, the institution that represents the counties and serves to protect the interests of the counties, and their governments took necessary steps to push back the forces that seek to undermine the system of devolved government that this country chose for itself when it promulgated the Constitution of Kenya 2010. The Senate has this morning filed a constitutional petition in the Constitutional and Human Rights Division of the High Court to challenge all the laws that have been enacted unconstitutionally since the inception of the 12th Parliament through the systematic and deliberate action of the National Assembly, which has flagrantly disregarded the legislative process that is clearly set out in the Constitution. The Constitution, in recognition of the bicameral structure of our Parliament, and in order to secure the devolved system of government, provides for an elaborate legislative process that sets out the manner in which legislation is to be processed, not by one of the two houses, but by the two houses of Parliament. We, however, find ourselves in the place where the National Assembly has since in the inception of the bicameral parliament failed to observe the procedure as laid down in the Constitution. As a result, the country has been denied the benefit of essential laws emanating from the Senate which have sought to implement the strengthen and strengthen the devolved system of government which the National Assembly has failed to consider. Two resources that leg legitimately belong to the counties have been centralized through the legislative fiat of one house, the National Assembly. Three, they have been clawback on the mandate and the powers of the counties. Four, draconian and outrightly unconstitutional provisions of law have been enacted through omnibus laws that have been passed unilaterally by the National Assembly without reference to the Senate. And usually these are usually called state uh, statute law uh, miscellaneous amendments. There has been an attempt to emasculate the counties and the institutions that have been established by the Constitution to ensure the well-being of the counties. Kenyans, uh, that is number six, Kenyans have been denied their constitutional right of public participation in a bicameral environment. And seventh, the Constitution has been interpreted and applied in a narrow, restrictive and prejudicial manner that promotes the interests of the centralist ideology as opposed to the principle of devolution, which is a central pillar of the Constitution. Kenyans will recall that on 20, in 2013, an account of similar disregard for the Constitution by the National Assembly, the Senate sought for an advisory opinion from the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court, in its advisory opinion, uh, reaffirmed the role of the Senate in the legislative process and particularly in the consideration and passage of bills concerning county governments and gave clear guide, guidance to the House of Parliament on the legislative process. It's important to state that since the Supreme Court advisory opinion, the Senate has, over the last six years, deployed every effort to seek to ensure that both houses of parliament proceed in accordance with the advice or opinion. The Senate has actively engaged the National Assembly and has repeatedly made various proposals to ensure compliance. However, despite this, there has been continued and persistent non-compliance with the directions of the Supreme Court by the National Assembly, a state of affairs that has greatly undermined devolution and constitutionalism. Without going into specific details of the petition, which is now before the Constitutional and Human Rights Division of the High Court, by this petition, the Senate seeks to set out the correct position in law on the issues that have arisen in the legislative process to ensure that devolution is not jeopardized through the lawmaking process and to promote the integrity and sanctity of the bicameral structure of Parliament and the devolved system 
of governance as established in the Constitution. The petition therefore seeks a declaration that a total of 24 Acts of Parliament that have been passed by National Assembly are unconstitutional, null and void for the violation of Articles 96, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113 of the Constitution. We are confident that the High Court will rise to the occasion and will deliver a decision that advances the rule of law and good governance in our country. I wish to thank the Honorable Speaker of the Senate, my brother, the Senate Minority Leader, the entire leadership of the Senate, particularly uh, the guidance and leadership of the Legal and Justice, um, uh, Legal, Justice and Human Rights Committee, and all colleague senators who have fully supported this process in a bipartisan manner and have actively participated in this process. This lawsuit is for every Kenyan who fought so relentlessly for a government founded on the essential values of equality, democracy, social justice, and the rule of law. It is for everyone who believes in the power of devolution to promote equity, development, and progress in this country. This case is for us Kenyans and for the welfare of the future generations. In conclusion, I reiterate that the Senate commitment to safeguard devolution and the Senate's devotion to Kenyans who bestowed us with the noble and solemn duty of protecting the interests of the counties and their governments. The Senate remains to be the voice of the people and will always heed their call and concerns as it is seeking to do through this court case. God, God bless Senate, God bless Kenya, God bless each one of us. Asante Nisan.